An Epic Power Struggle From the beginning of life on planet Earth, there have been power struggles of epic proportions. One of them is so legendary that those we see in America today are incomparable. It is indeed an epic power struggle, and literally thousands of poems have been written about the characters involved. It is obvious to most of us that politics in any country is all about the power gained by the person in a given position. Dictators hold supreme power in their countries, and as the saying goes, absolute power corrupts absolutely, and when it does, oppressive conditions are created for that nation's citizens. However, absolute power didn't always corrupt, because that corruption must reflect the nature of the one who holds the power. The greatest power struggle of all time involves the creator of all things, and that struggle continues to this day. God created his most powerful angel who rebelled against his universal laws of love, taking a third of all of God's hosts of angels with him in this epic power struggle. Since our Creator, God, is all-powerful, the Almighty God, He could have obliterated the entire group in an instant. But as our God of love, He simply couldn't do that. As His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, also by which power have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these powerful things you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world due to lust. Our text for today is a beautiful passage of scripture that deals with the divine power of God and within this long sentence is the secret that allows us to tap into that massive power. Think about that powerful fallen angel with millions, perhaps billions of his followers all working toward the same goal. That goal is the death and destruction of all beings created in God's image. That puts every living thing on this planet directly in the middle of an epic power struggle. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in a universe controlled by a god of hate? That fallen angel has become the god of the vast majority of Earth's inhabitants, but there is hope for you if you want it. God's promise is that all things that pertain unto life and godliness, He has already provided for us through His power. The thoughts of the entire planet are on the things that pertain to life short term. But the things that pertain to godliness are about life long-term. The Greek text is emphatic in its use of His divine power. And He provided that power to you through His Holy Spirit. This gift from God is one of the great and precious promises promised to us by His Son Jesus shortly before He was arrested and murdered by the religious leaders of the day. When God makes a promise, you can count on it. But in order for us to tap into that power He promised us, we need to know what's involved. First, it's a gift to all of God's friends. 
It's really that simple. If you aren't a friend of God and His Son, Jesus Christ, then His Holy Spirit will not be working for God in your life. His Holy Spirit is your personal power source that God promised to us all. So how do you become friends with a stranger? Well, the good news is that this is going to be easy because although you may not know him very well, he already knows you inside and out. But we certainly can't get to know anyone without spending time together, can we? The more time we spend together each day, the faster we become friends with him. And the more we'll see evidence of his powerful Holy Spirit working in our lives. If you've never officially become friends with the God who created all things, then there is no better time than right now. Step one is to have your first conversation with him. And you need to do all the talking this time. Perhaps you could use the following prayer as a guide. Dear God, creator of all things, I know that you are the only true God and that you love me. I know that you loved me enough to send your son Jesus into this world to save my life. I know that he had to pay the penalty of death that I deserved because I have broken your laws of love. I'm truly sorry for that and I ask you to forgive me and to send your Holy Spirit into my life. I need your power in my life to change me into the person you want me to be. Thank you for your love for me and for your forgiveness. Please teach me how to become your friend forever. Now that you have struck up a conversation, you can go and listen to what he has told us by reading his words in the Holy Bible. Keep this daily conversation going and he'll provide the power for you to be changed into his divine nature so that you can escape from the corruption that is in the world due to our self-centered desires. Eternal life with God is the prize.